Morning guys! Um, it's been a while since the last vlog. Um, after I got back from SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, I actually got really sick and then that just kind of threw everything for a loop, so I apologize for that. Today's vlog is actually going to be pretty short, but I started doing this and was like, hey, why not? Let's have everybody else see what's going on here, because, you know, as you've read from the title, this has, what, art books. I own in it and um, some other books I think would be inspirational and helpful to other artists. Some of you might own these, some of you might be new and going, what can I add to my library? So these are my recommendations. Um, the cats will make appearances in this video, I'm sure. Um, yeah. But no, I started rearranging my bookshelf and then I looked at all of my art books and went, let's just do a short, fun little blog, see if anyone else needs help with this. So yeah, here we go. Hi, Tux. Uh, the bookshelf I have, I believe, is the Finby bookshelf from Ikea. It, it's not in red anymore. Now it's only in black. But, yeah. Red's my favorite color, so when I saw this, I had to get it. All right. You are not helping. <laughs> okay. So, that mess can stay there. Those are books that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. Ow. I twinge. It's been one of those days. All right, let's just, excuse you. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, with art books, you're really, you're really gonna get your work out. Oh, that's where that went. Ouchies. Like have so much stuff, all the dust that's flying around. Apologize for the mess. Oh my god, that one's heavy. Ooh. All right, where's my dust cloth? Where's my dust cloth? The oh. oh, buried. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's all Halloweeny. Oh. I haven't like done this in a really long time, and it needed to be done. Here, that looks. Better. Okay. Small ones on top, big ones on bottom is what I'm doing. All right. All right. I have no system. But okay. here we go. Big book. Ah, yes. 50 greatest cartoons. I do recommend this one, even if you're not a Disney fan, um, a Disney sketchbook. This has just all kinds of like fun sketches from the various animated films. It's, it's really nice to see the processes, so I do recommend that one. Ah, this is um, something more of a biography, but there's a lot of like inspirational art in here. And if you're, um, you know, Mark Davis, Disney's Renaissance man. I highly, highly, highly recommend that book. That's an excellent book. Oh. The Illusion of Life. I have actually misplaced my cover for these because I don't like dust covers. Um, personal preference. But yeah, this this is a great one too. What the hell is that? I apparently have an old math assignment in there. That's random. Ah, the Imagineering Workbook. Me. Yeah. Obviously, my Disney fandom's showing. Ah, yes. And I do have Art of Frozen. Because it is a lovely book. Come here, you. Oh, you are dirty. Where is my thing? I keep misplacing this. Art of the Box Trolls. This is a super, super cute art book. It's like, I highly recommend you guys get this. This is really good. Uh, oh, yes. The Art and Flair of Mary Blair. She is a big influence of mine, if you couldn't tell. That's not an art book. Ooh, what happened there? Art of Disney Princess. Fun inspiration. Do you recommend it? He... Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Because it's me. 
And it's my favorite attraction. Stay. Oh, this one I really do recommend. Um, Lovely. See, this um, has the art of Lorelei Bove, Claire Keen, Lisa Keen, Brittany Lee, Victoria Ying, and Ming Jin Chen, Helen Chen. So yeah, um, all female artists. Very inspirational work in here. So yeah, that one I do recommend. Goodness. Okay then. Uh, that's everything on that side. Oh no, that's not everything on that side. These two behemoths. What? Um, this one I got this past year for Christmas. The Hidden Art of Disney's Golden Age. Yeah, do recommend that. Obviously, you're seeing a theme here, but I find it easier to get a hold of some Disney art books than I do, say, DreamWorks or Warner Brothers. You guys might know a better place to get them than I do. If you do, throw that in the comics section. I'm all for it. This one. This one I love because I love doing backgrounds. This is also one of the heavier books I own. Yeah. It's also one of the more expensive books I own. That was not a cheap book. Totally worth the $50. Okay. Let's fix this. Because, geez. Seriously? Just stay there. What's this? Oh, the illustrator's book. God, where did I get this? This is like a drawing book. No, I'm going on a little memory lane here. Penny Dreadful. I don't know how many of you out there ever saw Penny Dreadful, which is on Netflix if you want to see it. It was super good. If you're like a classic horror movie fan or even a classic horror story fan, I go watch it. It's amazing. So those two actually could go up here. Oh, Penny Dreadful barely fits there. Two books on Vincent Van Gogh, my favorite artist. Stay. Ah. The Silver Way. This is um, character design, which I don't consider myself to be. I actually, you know, I'm stuck in a one style, but there's all kinds of good tips in here. And I have been looking at it more lately to try to use some of those ideas into my background designs and my illustrations in general. Okay. Mini Mermaids, Volume 1, by Liana He. Another big influence of mine. And everyone knows I love mermaids, so that should be no surprise there. Let's see, I have Mint Coral, Volume 1 and Volume 2, by Elsa Chang. I got these at um, CTNX three years ago, two years ago? Three or four. I don't quite remember, but it was a while ago. Let me see. Is that... And then there's um, Drawings by Victoria Ying. You can't really see the cover of this. But yeah, it's got all kinds of fun sketches of hers in here. So, big recommendation for that one. Because I just, I really love seeing the sketch process that artists do. It's a lot of fun. Oh, we're a towel. Yeah. We're a towel. He's, um... No, that's not what it is, Mary. Fort Terrell is a um, character designer who works, I think he's at Warner Brothers right now. Whee. Oh my gosh, how to draw Jiminy Cricket. I got this at a D23 event a couple years ago, I wanna say. But yeah, that's actually got a lot of good animation stuff in it, so animators. Animators. Those can stay there. Oh, this one's heavy. What's the front? Oh, some hands. Oh, I don't need that in there anymore. Yeah, anytime you can get books like this, hopefully the sun's not going on it too much, um, for drawing like heads or hands, get it. Those are some really hard things to draw because they're weird shapes. Um, boo -boo! So yeah, if you're in art school, this is probably, you know, one of the first things you're recommended, the Villepool Drawing Manual. And, you know, it's actually, I found it to be really helpful when I was starting out. And I still go to it every now and then. Let's see. Dynamic Anatomy. If you want to learn how to, like, draw muscles 
muscles really well. And sometimes muscles on top of muscles. That's the book for you. Uh, 100 Tuesday Tips. This is by Grizz and Norm, if anyone follows them. They did this book a few years ago. Like, all the tips that they recommend for various things. Oh, my God. When did that get so dirty? The other thing here, I'm finding books that are just absolutely filthy. How'd that happen? Um, anywho. So, this is um, volume one of Drawn to Life. Which is, um, obviously drawing advice. For movement, for sketches, you know, gesture and weight. I haven't looked in this in forever. So go back through that. Will that fit up there? It will fit up there. It will. It will. Hooray. Stay. Um, oh, that's my Sailor Moon book. <laughs> what have we got here? The Art of I Nan Thomas. Uh, got this fun little book here. Books even like this, I do recommend you get because they're fun for inspiration. I put it up there. No, it is too tall. No, don't, don't do it. Get it. Ah! Freaking gravity. Whew. The Great American Pinup. Just get it. Just do it. This book is one of my more heavy books. Oh God. Um, Art Deco. This is almost more of a lecture book, I'd say, but it's fascinating to see it. And there's just, I mean, look at that. Look how pretty that is. I love Art Deco. So this has helped me a lot to try to figure that design aspect out more. Oh, damn, that book is heavy. Just stick. Can you all just like stay put? Um, this really my last one? Yeah, this is really my last one out of the books that I've unpacked. I have a few others, but they're still in a box somewhere. They're mostly going to deal with anime and manga. Um, The Art of Dragons and Mythical Beasts. I don't remember buying this. Did I buy this? No, this was a gift. I think my mom, mom gave me this. Yeah, mom gave me this. So yeah. These books are even useful, I think, especially if you're just starting out. That's... What? Yes, there's a Sailor Moon book. Because <laughs> I... Sailor Moon was my jam. Was my jam. That and the Ronin Warriors. Oh, Ronin Warriors. But yeah. Okay. Then... Yeah, those aren't art books. Oh, there's Bad Girl. That girl can go there. I got this, the Batgirl one for drawing references and stuff. My book is falling asleep. Okay, and then these two books I will recommend for two different reasons. Um, historical aspect and just because, you know, mid-century modern is a big influence on my design, as some of you may have realized. Um, Charles Phoenix, you know, his Great America... On a book there are it has um icons from like 40s 50s and 60s so, like when people actually went out and had fun and there's just all kinds of photos and fun history tidbits so i use that as inspiration when i do my buildings and the same for southern california in the 50s just because you know again the design for it's my jam and it's an interesting time in history, the 50s. Because, yeah, there was, hi, Mary, a lot of change going on. So, yeah, those are all of my art books. Links to where you can get them um, will be down below. The ones that I highly recommend, at least. I'm not sure if I can find all of these. But yeah, check the links below and where to get them. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.